I've been a vegetarian for about 15 years, so I've tried pretty much all these products. Some work for prep, some are more of a cheat meal, um, but it's good to know the difference and the flavor because some taste a lot better than others. Some are really, really high in sodium, which most all are. That's why getting natural proteins are much better than going with the frozen section or canned things very high in sodium, but they do help in certain areas. These new meats are great for vegans. Uh, there are some that are not vegan though, and I'll cover that as well. Um, most of the time in prep, egg whites are the best if you're a vegetarian, but if you're a vegan, you're gonna have to go with some beans and things like that. So this'll help um, with vegans some of these meats are good but I recommend getting a coach if you're gonna try and go vegan or vegetarian or any but it it's really hard to get the right amount of proteins and the right kind of proteins because you don't want to eat soy when you're getting too close to a show and there's a lot of things you have to be aware of you're gonna have to drink more water because of the sodium so it's very important to have somebody that can help you through this but these are some good options they most of them taste pretty good even meat eaters like them i'm also going to cover other forms of vegan and vegetarian protein like beans and nuts mainly just almonds because that's all i get on prep i know some people get peanuts i've never gotten peanuts so i'm going to cover the almonds as well um and eggs even if you're vegan um, you wouldn't go in this area but i'm going to cover the sodium levels of eggs beans, these fake meats, as well as the calories um, per serving, amount of sodium per serving, and the amount of protein per serving. And then you can adjust the servings based on the protein that you need. Uh, lowest sodium is what you're gonna want. This Beyond Beef is quite good. It's not the best, but the um, sodium is better than some of the others. The sodium on this is 340 milligrams per serving, which is so high if you're a competitor on meat, you're probably like, whoa. Um, the calories are 110 calories per serving. It is made from pea isolate protein. So that's good because pea protein is much better than soy protein this close because it doesn't have any of the estrogens and things in it. It's 13 grams of protein per serving. That's about a half of a cup. So you might have to go a little bit higher to get the full amount of protein you want. Um, they also have flavors, but do not get the flavors. That just means more sodium. The Beyond Chicken is tasty, a little tough, but the flavor is pretty good. It The problem with the, this is it's made from soy protein, so I can't um, get that. Um, the texture is supposed to be the most closest to chicken, but if you cook it too much, it's really tough, so be careful. The Kioran is the best when it comes to the crumbles. These crumbles are 13 grams of protein, which is the same as the Beyond Beef, but it's only 170 milligrams of sodium. It's almost half what the Beyond Beef is. It's made from egg protein though, and it's 90 calories. So it's less calories as well as the Beyond Beef, but it's made from egg protein and a fungus protein, which is mushroom, but it's a small mushroom, which is almost like a mold fungus. I know it sounds really gross, um, but it is very tasty. Um, they also make meatballs, which are very, very good. The meatballs, unfortunately though, have 390 in sodium and the same everything else. The chicken cutlets, very good, um, need to be seasoned. This is what I was eating, but here's the problem with these. These have 420 milligrams of sodium for one cutlet, which is a serving of 80 calories, also made from egg protein, and it only has 11 grams of protein, so it's lower in protein um, and way higher in sodium. So my coach changed this. Um, but it is a good option, but drink a lot of water if you're gonna uh, eat these. The Cure in Meat is very good though, um, one of my favorites. They also make a turkey loaf, which is a little less in sodium than the chicken, but not enough to make it worth it. The Morning Star Crumbles are very good as well. Um, Morning Star is a soy product and chickpea product. So even though Morningstar has probably the best 
flavor out of all of the meats, I would stick with some of the others. Um, the Morning Star, it's lower in protein as well, and it's about the same as everything else in the sodium. The calories are a little lower, it's only 80 calories, which is good, but I would I would stay away from the soy, and I know it's soy and chickpea, but it's still quite high on the soy. Their meatballs are good too, but to be honest with you, the Kiorin are better. Um, the veggie patty, I do get this earlier in prep. It's 10 grams protein, 240 sodium, 110 per patty, chickpea and soy. Boca is also soy protein. Boca has 13 grams of protein. It's made from soy, 100, and cal 100 calories a serving of this, or 100 calories for one burger patty. But it's 700 and, or no, 470 milligrams in sodium, the highest out of any of the veggie meat on the market. So, on top of the fact that it is soy, which most of the soy products are less in sodium, it's higher in sodium. So Boca is definitely an indulgent sort of vegetarian meat. They probably have the best burger patty though. So for a cheat meal, I would go for that. Now this next product, Gardein, is sold at some restaurants. Gardein is probably my favorite. It is also soy protein, but I would not use this for prep at all. It has 150 calories per serving and not, or 390 milligrams of sodium, 17 grams of protein. So the protein's a little bit higher, but it's not worth the amount of sodium and the calories that it has. Um, I also didn't go into carbohydrates. This one's higher in carbohydrates as well. So are the garden burgers. So if you're looking at that, that could be a problem too. And this tempi, I think is how you say it, tastes disgusting. Okay, it's soy, obviously. It's made 100% from soy. It has 19 grams of protein, which is great, and only nine grams of sodium, milligrams of sodium. And it's 130 or 193 calories per serving. But it is gross. It doesn't even matter if it's flavored. Go with tofu. If you're gonna go that route, the tofu is better. Um, tasting, you can do more with it. It's soy no matter what. So remember, these soy products are not for prep, okay? These are what you're gonna do before prep, more than four weeks out. Um, if you're gonna do soy, the extra firm is the easiest to cook. Um, it doesn't fall apart. I normally do my soy raw um, during prep, throw it on a salad or something. They have different forms of soy, the firm, the extra firm, the soft, the soft that you make desserts with. You can also scramble them, um, like eggs for vegans. Um, I really like just kind of eating it raw or just lightly browning it like it is here. Um, soybeans though are a way to go as well. Soybeans actually are 14.3 grams of uh, protein, 0.8 on milligrams of sodium, and 148 calories. And that's for a half of cup of soybeans. Very high in protein, very low in sodium, better than going with the tofu. The tofu and the soy are on the same exact basically level. Tofu just has more sodium. So the tofu has nine milligrams of sodium as opposed to 0.8. So if you're gonna go for soy, just go directly for the bean. Um, you can get them frozen and you just take them and put them out in the fridge for a while and then you can add them to salads. Not four weeks out though. Almond. Almond is in every competitor's meat eater, vegetarian, vegan's life. Um, almonds are very good for you but they're low in heart carbohydrates, actually. You would think that they wouldn't be, and they're high in fiber. They're 15 um, grams of protein for a half cup of almonds and 0.7 on the sodium, but they're 413 calories. They're very high in calories. And um, you can tell when you get it in almond butter and you have that oil, you can just tell there's a lot of oil in them. They're great though, good snacks, except for when you're right out from a show. Black beans, also another good source of protein. Um, black beans actually are pretty good for you. They have um, 
really low sodium, only two milligrams of sodium. This is not if it's canned, okay? This is if it's, you know, you put it in water and do it yourself. Uh, 110 calories per half cup. And they, on, they only have seven grams of protein though. So you probably wanna do a cup of these if you're gonna try and go for protein. And um, don't do the canned when you're close to prep. Make sure you're not getting all that sodium if you're vegan and using beans for prep. And kidney beans are also another good option. They're 7.5 grams of protein, a little higher than the black beans, um, a little lower in sodium too. They're 1.7 and they're only two calories more than the black beans. So they're 112 calories for a half cup. Um, very tasty filling beans. So when I did it vegan, I did not get black beans um, close to the show. I was getting brown rice for my carbohydrate, which I still get now, and I was getting kidney beans. Um, so kidney beans are very good, but you know, I would try and I would try and go more for the eggs if you can, if you're a vegetarian. I just think it's a better option. Egg whites are very high in protein, 21.6 grams for a serving. And the sodium is still high though, even though it's natural, it's 30, it's 330 milligrams. But it's only 100 and ca 102 calories for 21 grams of protein. That is just amazing. And it's a complete protein, which some of these veggie things try to be, but they just aren't. It's really one of the only vegetarian complete proteins. It goes with everything. It actually tastes okay with the asparagus. Um, and, you know, I, have, I raise my own chickens, so I know... They're very, very healthy and happy and have all the omegas and all that good stuff. So eggs, by far the best way to go if you're a vegetarian. If you're vegan, try some of these imitation meats. Now here's my indulgent imitation meats, tofurkey. I get excited for Thanksgiving every year, but I wanna review these too in case people wanna try them. These buffalo wings are very good. Get them for football games every year. These maple flavored Morningstar sausages, awesome can't even tell they're fake these just taste like the mcdonald's mcribs is what everybody tells me i've never had them but i like those the corn dogs are good the hot dogs taste just as good as regular hot dogs is what i can remember um they also make like burritos and pizzas and stuff now haven't tried any of them these chicken patties amazing even my dad likes them and he hates fake stuff and the chicken nuggets are just as good, dipping them in some barbecue sauce. But this next one is my favorite. It's cranberry, it has cheese, it's like Thanksgiving, it's so good. They also have luncheon meats, haven't tried those either, so I can't tell you. The kielbasas are gross, tastes like cardboard. The fake bacon, okay, not so good though. I would stay away from that if I had to choose. But yes, you can get protein from plants. It is not the end of the world. So many people have told me I can't do this as a vegetarian. Believe me, you can. It just takes a little bit more work. So stay with it, keep the course. If you have any questions about any vegetarian products that I did not review, I really have tried them all, but I had to keep this short. Um, I, I have so many I love, so many I think are disgusting. So if you have a question about one that you might wanna try, just send me a message. Thank you, have a wonderful day.